Hello, it's Ruby and I hope that you had a really lovely Christmas. I know that this Christmas day was very, very strange. It did not feel like normal and it was not like normal. It was a very, very, very different Christmas and I know that it would have been hugely difficult for so many people. Christmas is supposed to be a time for family and lots of people did not get to spend Christmas with their families this year. A lot of the time on the radio, I heard this phrase of like, it's just one day. And yes, it is just one day, uh, when you look at it logically, when you look at it completely objectively, but subjectively, it is not just one day. It is for so many people the single most important day of the year. Like when, when people are asked, what's your favorite day of the year? So many people will say Christmas. That is simply for the fact that you get to spend it with family, you get to spend it with the people you love. It's a time for celebration of the people you love. So to not be able to spend Christmas with those people is so hard. I know that I'm so lucky in having been able to spend Christmas with my family. That is the number one, like, best bit about our Christmas. That's the number one gift that I was given, the, the fact that I was able to spend Christmas with the people that I really love. Usually, like, this is the first Christmas that I haven't seen my grandparents on my on Christmas Day. Like, my mum's parents always come around for Christmas Day. I've never had a Christmas where they're not there. And that was very, very strange. Like, we did video call them and after all this is over we're gonna have like another makeshift Christmas day where we're going to um, see my auntie, uncle, cousins and my grandparents after the vaccine is like distributed and it's safe to meet up and so we're delaying all of our presents and like the celebrations till then so we're gonna have like a second Christmas day a bit later on which will where we'll have another roast dinner and we will actually be able to spend that time together the ten of us which is what we usually do on Christmas day so I'm really looking forward to that I think it's gonna be lovely the fact that I was able to spend it with my immediate family I'm so grateful for and I think this year more than ever I was really hyper aware of yes I know that Christmas isn't about presents of course it's not about presents it's nothing to do with gifts it's a magical time of year where there is kindness and hope and family and love and it's not about presents but this year more than ever I was so so aware of that and I was so hyper aware of how grateful and lucky I was to be with my family that day I think I think this year more than ever we are so hyper aware of what the true meaning of Christmas is and what we love so much about Christmas. I was I, I was very, very close to not filming this and I'm not even sure if I will actually end up uploading this because I know Christmas wasn't the same for so many people and so it feels wrong to sit here and show you what I got for Christmas. But I've had like a good five, 600 requests to do this video and so I am going to film it but I'm not trying to show off in any way. My family really loves Christmas, like we are big Christmas fanatics. Uh, we've been watching Christmas movies for like the last six weeks. Every Sunday we watch a Christmas film and then all of this last week we've watched a Christmas film every night. And I just love everything about Christmas. We're always playing Christmas music in this house and it is my favourite time of the year. I love Christmas. I really, really um, love buying presents for my family. Like, it's the most fun thing ever. Um, but everyone this year like got really, really good presents for each other. I'm not talking about price, I'm not talking about uh, like quantity, I'm talking about sentimentality. I think the gifts that we got for each other this year really show how well we know each other and they're my favourite kinds of presents, like presents which have a meaning behind them and I'm not, I'm not going to go into too much depth about like the meaning behind every present because every present has a story behind it. And as always with these videos I'm going to start by telling you the non-material things that I received this Christmas. The first thing was obviously as I said the fact that I was able to spend Christmas with my immediate family this year which I'm so grateful for and I'm also so grateful for video calls and new technology which meant that we were able to call my grandparents and we were able to say happy Christmas to them and have a conversation with them and it's not the same as them being there but it's the next best thing. We made pies for lunch, like Christmas pies. My dad was so lovely, he like prepped all of the vegetables and then my sister and I were able to assemble the pies ourselves and that was just like such a fun activity and I really enjoyed that. And we ate breakfast together, which was nice. Like usually my sister wakes up quite late um, and Martha got up at 7.30 with me. So we were able to eat breakfast as a family, which was actually such a massive treat. And I, we got vegan croissants in, so my parents and sister had normal croissants. The fact that they got vegan croissants in for me, I'm really grateful for, because I, I haven't had a croissant since I went vegan, pretty much. So I'm really, really happy about that, because I love croissants. And I homemade my mum some raspberry jam, so ate the raspberry jam with the croissants. We played board games after lunch, which was lovely, and played Articulate, which is one of my favourites. And we watched The Nightmare Before Christmas, which was 
great, great fun. I've mentioned this before, Christmas Eve is my favorite day of the year. I love the anticipation and the magic in the air. Kind of, it embodies like the most magical essence of Christmas. You know, when you're, when you're a child and you're lying awake on Christmas Eve night, waiting for Father Christmas and listening for bells and feel like going to bed on Christmas Eve, you still do feel that wonder that you feel when you're a child. Part of you is still like listening out for sleigh bells because there's so much anticipation for Christmas. I'm not sure, maybe that's just me, but I think Christmas Eve is the most magical night of the year. And um, every Christmas Eve, we meet up with some family friends and we go on a walk and we feed reindeer and we go for a pub lunch, which is my favorite thing. Like, I was like, Christmas Eve is my favorite day of the year. And we obviously weren't able to do that this year because of COVID. But my mum, sister and I went on a walk with Lola and we dressed her up in reindeer antlers. And uh, so it's kind of like going to see the reindeer in definitely not the same way. And then we Zoom called our close family friends in the evening, which was really nice too. So um, it really wasn't the same, but um, again, it was like the next best thing. And I'm really grateful that we were able to do that. With that said, I'm gonna get on to showing you what I received for Christmas. And as always, I'm going to start with my beautiful Christmas stocking. So, oh, I got some sweets first of all. I've already started on this bar, as you can see, but I got three bars of Nomo chocolate favorite vegan chocolate. I also got some graham crackers. Oh my gosh, these are my favorite sweet things. Like, I love these. Obviously, you can't buy them in the UK, so my mom got them, like, on eBay or something. I don't know. Um, I got some stickers. This tea bag one. These are dark academia themed ones. Then I got this very cute jewelry box, which is from Accessorize. And also from Accessorize, I got this really cute little clutch bag. I've actually wanted this for about two years, but I didn't realize my mom would get this. I got some more ballet tights. If you didn't know, I do like ballet fit classes every day. And I also wear these just out and about. These are the other stickers. They're Anne of Green Gables ones. Look, so this is Kindred Spirits. And then this one says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers, which my mom knows is my favorite quote from Anne of Green Gables. Mom and I watch Anne with a knee together. So um, that's a very nice gift. If you know me, you know that I love tea. I drink like 10 or 10 cups a day maybe sometimes. So my mom got me two Bird and Blend teas. Bird and Blend is probably my favorite tea company at the moment. Enchanted Narnia and Monkey Chops. Oh, then this is something I did actually ask for. It's a chai spiced almond butter. I love nut butter, it's my favorite food. From a small independent seller called Butterbell. Oh my gosh, this I was so, so excited about. My mom got me these um, tapioca pearls in lychee flavor, which I really, really wanted, like I was so close to getting these myself. I was not expecting these at all, but um, I really want to try making boba from home. Then finally, I got these embroidery scissors. I think my mom got these on eBay. These are in the shape of a stalk and they are the most cute and beautiful things ever. If you didn't know, I'm trying to get into embroidery at the moment. And so my mom got me those scissors and then also embroidery kits. So it's like a starter kit and it shows you like an outline of this print and then it includes all the thread and things and you can thread through. This is from an Etsy seller called Cinnamon Stitching. The final thing I got from Father Christmas, this might be my favorite gift. It's a May leg mouse. I'm not sure if you've ever seen these before, but my mom and I really, really, really love them. We've never had one, but we always look at them in um, shops together when we go in. It is the Christmas mouse and she's got a little hat which you can take off and a skirt which you can take off as well so you can like dress her in different clothes and um i actually funnily enough got my mum one as well which she wasn't expecting i got her a little ballerina mouse how cute we're gonna have hours of fun aren't we ruby we are indeed <laughs> that's her little day bed so she can have a little sit down there Okay, now I'm going to move on to my other gift. I did get a few books this year, which I'm very, very excited about. So the first thing I got was from my dad. Technically, all of these presents are from both my mum and my dad, but my mum buys some and my dad buys some, and then they give them separately. So I got this book from my dad. It's Poems to Live Your Life By, and it's chosen and illustrated by Chris Riddell. And my dad chose me this because um, I was talking to him about how Chris Riddell was my favourite illustrator. These two books are from my mum. The first one, oh my gosh, I have wanted to read this since I was maybe seven because it's mentioned in A Little Princess. It's one of the books Sarah reads and it is The French Revolution History by Thomas Carlyle. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous um, edition. My mum got this from Oxfam. It's so beautiful. History of the French Revolution. I love learning about the French Revolution, so I'm very excited to read this. And then also from Oxfam called Peggy S.G. by Helen H. Watson. I've never heard of this before. 
it's like it's a school story and will you look at that spine it's got a proper picture on the spine this is from christmas 1913 if you can see i love books with a message in the front this next thing isn't a book, but it looks like a book. I think games are a really nice thing to ask for for Christmas. So I asked if I could have Lexicon, but I was like, I'd love something just like secondhand, um, like a pack of cards for like two pounds. So I was not expecting this. It's like 1930s edition of the game with this beautiful spine on it. And then look, you pull it out and then the cards are in here. And this is just the most gorgeous, gorgeous pack I ever could have asked for. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favourite presents. Okay, another thing I received from my mum is this statuette, which she got from eBay. And it's a mother and a daughter. And I love this style of ornament. I think they're so pretty. Also from my mum, I got this otter jelly cat. My mum and I love otters. It's like our family animal. An otter is also my patronus. And my mum got this as a gift for a family friend. And... My mum and I both loved it. And so my dad surprised my mum with one and my mum surprised me with one. So now my mum and I have matching otters. Next, I'm gonna show you the clothes I received. I got a NASA sweatshirt, which my mum got on Depop. I have wanted a NASA sweatshirt for like three or four years, but I could never find the perfect one. And my mum found the perfect ones. I've got a white bubble hat, which apparently is becoming really ratty. I didn't even realize with like a new bubble hat. This is really fluffy, it's like really soft. Then my dad got me this top. This is a Vineyard Vines top. I really like the aesthetic of these tops. Like I think Vineyard Vines tops are so nice. And this one has got books. The whale has books on it. It's really comfortable. So thank you very much, dad. And then the final piece of clothing I got is this dress. Um, this again is from Depop. And it's like a vintage tea dress with a beautiful, almost sailor-like collar. And this was from my mum. So then I got two bigger gifts from my parents. Oh my gosh. Oh, I literally can't believe I received these. I am so, so lucky. I feel so, so, so grateful for these. I got a picnic basket. So it's got this like clasp thing and then you pull it back and on the top there's room for your picnic bl blanket. So it came with this picnic blanket which is really nice like blue and then it's waterproof and so um this is so perfect i actually love going on breakfast picnics like sometimes i'll take my breakfast to a nearby field and go and eat it there um, so it's got this zipper and then it's like a cool box inside so you can store all of your sandwiches and things which is so cool like i can't wait to start using this oh and then inside i got some tea uh this is the plum apple and cinnamon tea from Fortnum and Mason which I haven't tried and apparently this is one of their best Christmas teas so I'm very excited to try this. Then my other main present is from Canons UK which is a gymnastic company and my dad got me an air block which is kind of like the air track I have but it's thicker and you can use it for an added jump to tricks and I'm actually going to bring this to university with me so that I can use it to exercise when I'm at university because my big air track is obviously too big to bring so I'm really excited to start using this and I will show you now. This is the air block it's massive so it's 20 centimeters deep and it's really bouncy it's really cool I really like it it's so fun. Martha and I were actually using it yesterday on Christmas day. Okay so that's everything I received from my parents I feel so 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 lucky they know me so well and I love every single one of my presents. Um, I'm now gonna show you what I received from my sister. When we were young, we would save up our pocket money so that we could buy each other gifts. We would just really enjoy exchanging gifts with each other. Um, I love buying presents for my sister. My sister got me the most incredible gifts this year. Like, I can't believe how well she knows me. I'm so, so grateful for her and for how well she knows me. So I'm going to show you what she got me. I think this is my favorite thing she got me. So this is it. Looks a bit random, right? But basically this is a kit you can attach like this special lens to your camera and it it lets you get pictures of the stars so you can take pictures of the stars like of the night sky with your camera which is so cool i love love learning about space if you didn't know i love astrophysics martha does know this so i didn't even know this kind of thing existed and i can't wait to start using it when there's a clear night like oh my god this is just this is one of my favorite gifts i can't wait to use it she also got me quite a lot of books so um the first one is also from oxfam online uh this is melbourne house which apparently is a 
school story i love a good school story again like the other one yeah she said that this looked like the kind of thing i would love which i haven't started it yet but i think i'm gonna really enjoy this and it's also beautiful like the spine look at that spine but so the next book she got me is the little book of bees an illustrated guide to the extraordinary lives of bees um my nickname when i was younger was bee this is just a beautiful volume it's filled with all of these watercolor illustrations of bees and you can learn about bees from this. I can't wait to read this. Learn everything I need to know about the different species of bees. Yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. Thank you so much, Martha. Oh, and actually to go along with that, oh my gosh, she got me this bracelet, which I've been wearing overnight since Christmas. Because I love it. So, if you can see, it's a bee bracelet from Oliver bonus this really dainty little silver bracelet i really wanted to get a dainty silver bracelet like this for a while because i had one but it broke um last year yeah i wasn't expecting her to get me one so this was a lovely surprise and i don't think i'm gonna take it off i think this might be something i always wear now if you're a big book one you've probably seen this book a lot in waterstones i know i have and i've really wanted it but it's just too extravagant to buy for yourself but martha surprised me with a poem for every night of the year which is edited by Ali Asiri and basically for every single day it gives you a new poem and so I read obviously the ones for like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day today. I feel like Martha just got me really beautiful books, like the kind of books I would just want to display and just look at for hours. Then the final book Martha got me is this one, A Property by Joanna Isles which um she got on Oxfam again. Um I love Oxfam for books like you can get these really cool vintage books. Look at the illustrations in this thing. Again, there are all of these beautiful watercolour illustrations. And it's a guide to afternoon tea etiquette. I love afternoon tea. Like I wrote my family into having little afternoon teas on Sundays sometimes. And this is a guide on how to have afternoon tea traditionally. So it's got um, details on like all of the different tea flavours and how to brew them and when to have them and then it's got recipes for things you can bake for afternoon tea and it's just such a cool book like it's just such a thoughtful gift um and again i can't wait to read this you've had that for every single book i've received but i love all of the books i got okay so next martha got me some clothes the first thing she got me is this pair of sweatpants from zara i think these are going to be perfect for camping because they're really warm inside and you always get so cold when you're camping so I can't wait to wear these over the summer. And the second thing she got me is from my Depop like list again. You can see a trend with all of these clothes. So Martha got me this dress. It's very cottage corey, yellow checked with a beautiful Peter Pan collar. This fits perfectly and I wore it yesterday and I can't wait to wear it, especially when spring starts up here. So next, Martha got me some candles from this Etsy shop called The Natural Soy Candle Shop. I got some tea lights. This one is in Winterberry by the fire. This one in frankincense and myrrh. And then these little um, like hanging ornaments in Christmas tree. And I think you hang these from the tree and then they smell like fur, which is really cool. She also got me a big candle in winter. So, so good. Literally on Christmas Eve, I used up this winter candle. So now I can start using this one for the rest of winter, which I'm very excited about. Lastly, got me this candle, which is in cinnamon and vanilla. This is my favorite. Oh my gosh. It smells, it smells like pumpkins. And then finally from Martha, she, like, as I said, she just went, like, she just got me the most amazing gifts this year. Martha got me this tote bag, which I think is from a seller in Depop. Do you recognize that? Who is that? This is a hand embroidered tote bag with Timothy Chalamet on it in Call Me By Your Name. I love the book of Call Me By Your Name and Timothy Chalamet is my favorite actor. I just think this is such a cool gift. I love how he's leaning on books as well. Yeah, thank you, Martha. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I do hope that you and your family had a good Christmas. I hope that you managed to have a good Christmas or a happy Hanukkah or a happy Kwanzaa or that you just enjoyed the day. It has been strange. It has been so weird and I know it's going to have been so difficult for people as I said um, but I'm sending lots of love, Christmas spirits and the best best wishes for the year ahead. 2021 is going to be better than 2020 and to anyone who did celebrate Christmas by themselves this year I want to say thank you um, on behalf 
of so many people because you are keeping you're keeping the world safe you're keeping other people safe by having made that awful decision and really hard sacrifice that your kindness like is so so valuable and that you've given such an amazing gift to, to people by celebrating Christmas by yourself by sacrificing seeing certain people and that can't be undermined how valuable that gift is like you could have saved somebody's life and so I want to say thank you um anyway thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have a productive week Thank you.